blessed to be working. I hope I gave them all and more than they wanted. And it's the most fun I've had on two feet in a very long time. Don't tell anybody. It was really fun, really fun. I love the films and I'm a huge fan of Tony Gilroy as a director, so everything about it was fun to me. Jeremy and myself are both pawns of the government, but we get thrown together and neither of us can live without the other. It's nice to work with really smart people. How about Tony, this girl, tremendous. Edward, Oscar Isaac, tremendous. It's like going to school every day and learning. Well, the scope of the movie just gets enormous. And, uh, and, and I also think that what's great about it is that there's some real classic uh, action filmmaking in it, you know? Uh, it's not all just uh, done with ones and zeros in a computer, you know? There's real uh, uh, craftsmanship at work in it. Hopefully it preserves the great tradition that they've already, that they've already had and, and everybody expects an upgrade. I mean, everybody expects an upgrade in everything that they do. And, so the, the, the bar is really high. You get this terrific sense of kind of the moral dilemmas in our corporate age, and I just, I love what he has to say. He's great at making things entertaining, but also very smart. The audience don't know the big picture, even the ones that have seen the first three Bourne movies. If you think you really knew who was in charge, you were wrong, you didn't know. And this film lifts the curtain on the last three films, and you see what was really going on. It's nice to end it here. Not ended, by the way, but he's sort of like, Embrace it all together as uh, filmmakers and actors, all together. You know?